Righty then, uh, full time here at Old Trafford. Me and our kid have, uh, have just managed to get press for it. He's up here. How are we doing? Well, and then well. look who that is there. So What's he doing? <laughs> Can't fucking get away from him. Um, ultimately, it's a pre season friendly in it, but I think there's some pretty interesting talking points about that. One talking point Cristiano Ronaldo just bailing at half time. Are people going to overanalyze that? Are people going to talk about that means he's definitely going? Yeah, expect all of those sorts of things. Honestly, I don't know what it means. Um, it means Cristiano Ronaldo left at half-time. Did he have permission? I don't fucking know, I'm not his dad. Like, we'll find out if it comes in the wash, I guess, whether it means he's staying, whether it means he's going on, and all of the things that are in between that. I think the most noteworthy thing from today is probably two youngsters I thought had sensational performances. One had a proper one to forget, um, and two new signings look really good, as far as I'm concerned. I thought Lissandro Martinez just brought such a calmness to the back line. I can see why Ten Hag wanted him in the team. Really good introduction from him. A little bit of minutes in the legs. Don't know whether that means he's going to be ready to start the season or not. Potentially a little bit early to say, I would say. Um, I think Brighton being a week away, you'd assume he's still in pretty good nick. There's a good chance that you might see him, um, if not starting, certainly on the bench. Um, Alongside him, I don't think Varane did much to write home about. Didn't play badly by any stretch of the imagination, but was just all right. In midfield, Christian Eriksen looked great. Um, real intelligent footballer, shown that sort of footballing IQ at times. And alongside him, Donny van der Beek. Just, it was just meh again, wasn't it? Just didn't do anything. Didn't do anything bad, didn't do anything wrong, but didn't really do anything positively to influence the game either. Um, the two good performances that I think completely stood out was Garnacho and Ethan Laird. Both of those put in Premier League level performances. And I think Marcus Rashford, who I think has looked, he looks physically prepared on tour. Don't know if he's quite there mentally yet. Uh, I think he's probably lacking in a little bit of confidence. That's, that's my take on it anyway. I don't know. I haven't spoken to him, so I don't know if if he's he is lacking in confidence, but it seems like he's not quite back up to the full speed yet, to the level of play that we know that he can be. Not just yet, anyway. But Garnacho put in one of those complete performances today. He was intense, there was quality, he was a real intent to the way he played. He was taking people on, he looked like he had options and ideas when he got into the final third, he looked like he knew what he was doing. He deferred it to Ronaldo a couple of times, and maybe you, you almost have to kiss the ring sometimes don't you when you're on the pitch with Cristiano Ronaldo and you're a, you're a child that wasn't even born when Ronaldo made his debut here but I think there's there's some real positive signs from what Garnacho did and honestly if I'm picking a side for weekend I'm going to be considering uh, Garnacho to get more minutes there's some talk that he was the player that was late on tour and that's why he didn't feature and if that's the case then he needs to fix that shit with a quickness because that's held him back from getting minutes and he's shown today that those minutes could have pushed him up in the pecking order. So he needs to fix that quick. Get those minutes in the legs. Show the gaffer what you can do, like you've just done there. And try and put some pressure on everybody else in the squad. Because he did a bloody good job of doing that today. Marcus needs to be looking over his shoulder. And it might bring the best out of his game. We know he works hard. It might keep him working hard if he thinks that his position in the team isn't all that secure. Um, the performance to forget... Oh, not mentioned Laird, have I? Laird, great in both boxes. Doing the sort of thing that I've been talking about him doing and capable of doing for the longest time. It's really good to see. There's some talk that he's, he's about to go on loan to Watford. If that's the case, then that's the case. But honestly, I, I think I'd get rid of Wamba Saka and I'd keep hold of Ethan Laird. Um, I, if I could, I, I would definitely try and do that. Um, the, the performance to forget, I think, has got to be Chong. I don't think Chong really did anything of note. Um, and uh, he did a lot of stuff where he just go, you had great opportunities there and you've just fucked it. You've not really fucking done anything with that there. So um, overall, nice to see. Good little run out for everyone. Massive crowd here at Old Trafford. Not as many goals as you would hope for with it being a pre-season game, but some good performances, some minutes in the legs. Nice to see the gaffer coming out as well, wearing trainers with a suit, which is a bold move. And a, and a t-shirt rather than a shirt, shirt and tie after flipping the dugouts this fucker marches to his own beat doesn't he um, so fair play to him 
Um, absolutely smashed it in terms of stamping his authority on us in pre-season. Let's see if we can take that into the season and start with some free points against Brighton because fuck me, do we need it. Right, do five things tomorrow. Check it out. See you in the next one. Bye.